Imagine a web server handling multiple requests simultaneously. With C-sharp multi-threading, we can assign each request to separate thread, ensuring speedy and parallel processing. This means faster response times, improved user experience, and increased scalability. In this video, we have tried to explain the fundamentals of C-sharp multi-threading with a hands-on example showing how threads work and handled in a very simple and comprehensive manner. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our IntelliPart YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to come across more updates like this. So let's start with our multi-threading part. So for that, first you need to create a new folder. So you can name it as anything you want. I will name it as my project. Then after creating the new folder, go inside the folder then click on the address of the folder and write as cmd basically it will indirect you to the command prompt and as you can see from the screen already one folder has been created as my project okay so for having the process of multi-threading in c sharp you need to have visual studio code okay you can also do in command prompt but visual studio code will give you much better results and in a much more better format so for that how are we gonna do that so if you don't have visual studio code in your system uh, so first download it and I already have so I don't have to download it again. So how are we gonna connect our command prompt to the visual studio code? So for that we need to write one command as dot net new console. So what exactly it will do this command will uh, you know create a new project for you guys uh, in the visual studio code and it will be named as a new project as the project what you named suppose i have named it here my project so a project named as my project will be created in the visual studio code after writing this command and clicking on enter as you can see from the screen it is also showing that restore is also has been completed so it means that console is already been made in the visual studio code so how to access to that for that you need to write code dot and then you have to click on enter see visual studio code in that open and uh, as I already told, due to the help of that command, there's already one project created over here as the same name which I write as my project. And here, as you can see, there's one more file open program.cs. So basically in this, uh, there's a dummy program named as hello world. So basically console.write line which you can see from the screen. It means that, uh, you know, uh, this line gives the message to the console to produce the output. Okay, so in this particular program, we will be creating two threads okay so why are we creating two threads uh, because uh, we have to show that how two threads will be processing simultaneously as multitasking means uh, how even if you're working on the system there are some back apps which are already working running there and there are other tabs also here also you can see from the screen i am having a snipping tool then i am having open my powerpoint then again visual studio code command prompt skype so these all are working behind my system as I'm currently working on this visual studio code but still my powerpoint is also working skype is also working so in that particular way this particular line console dot write line gives the message to the console output indicating that it is a uh, output that has been created by the using the value of threads okay so before that first let's run this code to check if the code has been created successfully or not see we got the output so it means the console is working and the output is we are expecting that we will get so let's start with our code so first we will put using system so basically this line imports the system namespace which provides fundamental types and base classes for dotnet framework okay now we'll write using system dot threading again semicolon and system dot setting is basically a namespace which contains all the types of you know classes interfaces which are used to access or you which is used to perform multi-threaded programming in c sharp so basically system dot setting is used for that then we will create our class and i will name it as program so obviously now we have created our new class so now we will start with our entry point of program which is static void main okay so you are must familiar with this line so basically this line does not return any value but this gets executed when the program starts running so inside this as i already told in the start we have to create two threads so we will be creating our two threads first so first we will start with the first thread so which will be thread thread one is equals to 
new thread and I will write method one here. Uh, you must be thinking why, right? Because this line will create a new thread object, okay, as thread one. But it is also associated with the method one. Basically, method one is a method which will be executed in the thread one option. So, suppose if you are creating any object or any, uh, you know, um, what you will say, any, uh, obviously, if you are creating any object as thread one or thread two, so there is a process going behind, okay? So, this is the process which is going behind as method one. For thread one, I have created a process which will be putting as method one. So, for that, same I have to do with the thread two as well. Thread one. Thread two is equals to new thread. Again, first was method one, so that will be method two. Okay, so it got something else. Wait one minute, let me correct it. Yeah, now it's fine. Okay, so yeah, this line has already created a thread object. First, we created method one, now it is method two. So now, as we already have created the methods, so now we have to put a command to start them also. Okay, so how are we gonna do that? We have to write thread one dot start and the uh, arrows. Now, for the same thread two also, thread two start. Yes, so now we already have done that. After this, we have to create a new, uh, you know, method one, which will be executed by thread one. So for that, we have to create one more static method. So we'll do that now. Static void method one. Okay. Uh, after this, we have to put a for loop inside this. For, then we have to initial, initialize it as initial i is equals to zero. Then we have to put the iteration value till 8 and then we have to write i plus plus. So basically what it tells that uh, this code will be running till the 8th step. After 8th step, it will be getting eliminated. Okay. So this we already we have done. After this, we have to write the same line which we already wrote as console.write line. So we will write now this console.write line. And then we have to put our first thread inside that, which is at thread one, colon, then plus i. Okay, so this is for the thread one. And then again, this same thing we have to do for thread two as well. But before this, you have also mentioned this command also thread dot sleep and 1000. Basically, 1000 means one second. So if the thread one will start working, so for every second iteration, there will be a pause for one second. Okay. So this is how this process is going to work as we are uh, making thread one and thread two to process simultaneously. So we need to have pauses, right? So for that, I have created this command as thread dot sleep, which will be pausing one second after each iteration. Okay. So the same thing we have to do for method two as well, right? So we'll do for method. Two as method two. Okay. So again, here also we have to do the same for loop for in i is equal to zero. I should be less than eight. I plus plus. Right. And again, here also we have to give the command to the console to give you the output as console dot write line. And here we have to write thread two as thread one is already done. In the column, thus. Okay. So here we have to put same we found also in the first I forgot to put. Wait. And now it's fine, right? And also we have to mention that sleep command thread dot sleep 1000 right okay so now i already have completed the code so let's run the code and see what we get as a result see so it's showing you thread one and thread two is simultaneously working together 
if you noticed it is coming one after another after one second that why i wrote this thread dot sleep command because if suppose both the process are working or speed making you know process proceeding at the same speed it will it would not be possible right so for that i wrote as thread dot sleep 1000 okay so this is how multi threading in c sharp works right and especially in this program it demonstrates you how to create and start two threads as i already told thread 1 and thread 2 and also with the execution methods as method 1 and method 2 concurrently right each of this threads prints messages to the console output and they also put thread dot sleep as pauses and they again start working so and the repeats the process multiple times and as already in this code i mentioned the time as 8 so till 7th iteration it happened after that it stopped right so this is what how multi threading in c sharp works so that's all for this video if you found it helpful then do share it with your fellow mates and also don't forget to subscribe to our intellipart youtube channel for regular updates like this and if you want more coding videos like this please do comment your views in the comment section just a quick info guys intellipart offers a full stack developer course which enable you to learn tech stack from both front end and back end through this course you will gain hands on experience with the skills and technologies such as sql java data structure javascript html css node js and react under the guidance of industrial professionals with this course we have already helped thousands of professional in successful career transition you can check out the testimonial on our achievers channel whose link is given in the description below without doubt this course can set your careers to new height so visit the course page link given in the description and take the first step towards a career growth with the full stack developer course